evening, everyone, and hello. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh, and welcome. Welcome to my home, to my apartment. And I'm here tonight to just give a big thank you. I'm feeling very, very grateful tonight. I'm feeling grateful for so many people in my life. Let's start the list. <laughs> the first person is, of course, the most persons of any persons that get credit for me getting this point in my life, which is my mom and dad, okay? Because my mom and dad supported me through everything, through thick and thin. So that's number one, the, the persons. Then after that, oh gosh, it's so hard. It's really, really hard to categorize it. I'm not going to go. It's like mom and dad and then everybody else. Okay. <laughs> so mom and dad, I will also say thank you to my party assistant, Rashawn, who has helped me do so, so much. Really just almost everything that I could possibly ask him to do. <laughs> Seven days a week, 6 a.m., 12 o'clock at night, okay? Rashawn was my first student. He believed in me, he had conviction in me, and he's been an amazing friend, so thank you, Rashawn. Oh, let me tell you, the reason that I'm doing this big thank you tonight is because of the fact that today was the taping of the first taping of me ever being on live camera. And by the way, I did very well. <laughs> there was only one situation, which was, oh, my Lanta. They turned off all the air conditioners. And even though it's actually very, very nice out in New York, it's very hot on the 60th floor. So I was sweating, but they had to do it because of the sound and the sound guy and everything he said to do. And I had to listen. and. I had to take instruction, and do you have any idea how hard it is for me to actually take instruction from someone? <laughs> it's very, very hard. So thank you to Rashawn. Thank you to Sarah, who is probably my show soulmate, actually. Thank you also to Bob, who is in charge who is the man in charge of basically all the things that need to get done, which he does very well. Thank you to the cameraman, the sound guy, the tapey guy, the camera guy, the millennials. Thank you to the millennials for actually being so millennialish. okay? And also, I want to thank all of the people that came today to help me, which was Trisha, a trader in my room. Peter and his wife actually came from Pennsylvania to meet me and talk to me. It was amazing. Philip, who actually flew from Europe, from London. Crazy long way to come. And then, and last but not least, Linda, who wore her fabulous shoes, which was amazing, and hopefully that will be caught on the camera with the tape two tonight. So that was really, really good too. I'm sure I will meet more of you as time goes on once the show goes live. I can't wait. It was, I think, oh gosh. I think that's one. Oh, thank you to Stephanie who did my hair. And Dita who did my makeup with the fake eyelashes that I'm may sleep on tonight. I actually may sleep with these tonight because I realized that fake eyelashes and amazing earrings actually give you good luck in trading. That's just a tip. That's a sidebar. You can use it for whatever you need it to. Um, but one of the most amazing things that I figured out from today is that life is like one of these things where you go through life. You just go through you know, a long time ago, someone told me, Melissa, it's a journey. And I was like, whatever. I want to make a million dollars. I don't care about the journey. But the fact is, whoever that person was, was right. Because life is about a journey. You never get to the goal unless you're willing to get on the path of the journey. Even though you don't know where that path's going to lead. You have absolutely no idea. And I will say that today was a culmination of a journey for me. Because it's the first time I was ever on camera. Like a real life camera. And... It was very, very interesting, very exciting. And I appreciate all the people that came to meet me today. One of the most heartfelt things that I took away from today is that I've impacted people's lives. I met people, some people I met before, some people I never met. And that really 
made it all worthwhile and then put it into perspective for me. It, it really having people into my home and meeting them and just talking to them, even though it was very, very brief because we had so much to do today and the people were here and they were on a schedule for the filming. It was meaningful for all of you that came here today and I feel proud that I have touched your life and I know that I've touched a lot of people's lives over the last three years and I will touch more people's lives as I become famous and get on TV and have the show and continue to teach to people and somehow today it really just, you know, just put it on to perspective for me because you know, there is a higher meaning and purpose to things. And sometimes you, you don't you don't realize that. You go on the path that you're going on for the reason of this thing, and then all of a sudden it turns into something else. And I think that's the most important thing to learn from this. Many, many times if we're willing to stay on our own path, be true to ourselves, we will realize a dream, a goal, an objective, something amazing in our lives that is far beyond what we ever even thought that we could achieve. Like this is... Even though I'm trading now for seven years and I've had the business for three years, this whole television thing is almost like another step for me into the unknown. And I'm taking the leap. So take the leap with me. Learn how to trade the market. Take the risk. I'm taking a leap. And I, and I don't need to. I mean, this, seriously, like I don't even need to be doing this. Like I was talking to a lady. Hold on. It was a PR rep. This was like, this was like over Labor Day. I was talking to a PR agent and she was like, Melissa, why do you want to do this? And I was like, because I, she meant be on TV. Like, why did I want to be on TV or whatever the case was? And I was like, you know, because number one, I'm going to make more money being on TV because you get paid to be on the show. And number two, I said, because I know I'm really good at what I do. And I know that I will have an impact on people's lives. And in a way that is necessary, that is needed, there's like a, there's like a void. There's like a void right now on TV. The void is that, like, Oprah is, show is done. People, people need something. Like, they want to get up in the morning and feel good about themselves and, like, something to get them going. Like, get them out of bed or do something with their lives. And I feel like, I, I, can I get up every morning, I feel very motivated to trade, to teach, to talk, to give something to people, to give something back. And I think that that's invaluable because a lot, a lot of things that are on television right now and that are wherever, you know, are just all about the me, me, me. And I really feel like, yes, I would be very successful on TV for myself, but I feel like I have a gift, a gift to share with the world. And, and therefore, it's like my destiny. It's like my destiny to give the gift. It's so weird that I think I figured this out like so long ago, it was like 2013. It was like 2013 that I realized that I had a gift to trade. You know, and Peter said something today with his wife when he was here, and he said something that was really hilarious. I don't know if I'm going to put it on YouTube or not yet, but he was like, basically, Melissa, you, when I talk to my wife about you, I'm like telling my wife, like, there's, you're like a wizard or something. Like, that's what Peter said. And he said that because of my calls. So it was very, very sweet. And I felt touched today by all the people that came to meet me. For the rest of you that didn't, all over the world, I will meet you soon because once the show is live, I will telecast you or telepoint you into the Skype. Or we will do a live meeting. And I'll come to you or you'll come to me. It'll be very Now I want to say one last thing. I'll let everybody go because I, I know my videos are long. And oh, that was the hilarious thing Bob said today. And, and the millennials was that I talked too fast. That was the only critique that I had today. They said I did fabulous. I did great. I'm a natural. But they said I talked too fast. And uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I will try harder. I really promise to try harder to talk slower for you. For those of you out there that want to follow me, I promise I will try. And I know that if I try, there's a chance I could do it. But I want to say one last thing. I didn't do an end of clip dedication because the day went on and on. It was just it was crazy. But I can't think of what I want to say.
when I first started this idea, when I first started this, no, not the idea, but the actual process of actually putting it into the physical world, which was the beginning of 2015, I actually met a man. He was the first man that I ever met that was involved with television, actually. And he said to me, Melissa, he's what we call comfortable in the seat. And I said, oh, I never heard of that before. He's like, well, it's a term that directors have. I said, oh, tell me more, you know, tell me more. What does this mean? He said, comfortable in the seat means you can put a camera on you and you just go. He's like, where that's very actually natural and not that many people have that ability. And a lot of people and most people in TV need to be trained and they need cue cards and they have to be trained to do it and prompted and whatever. And I said, well, what do you mean? Give me the example of the people. And he named like one person in the comfortable and one person in the uncomfortable. And I knew who the people were. And I said, oh, my Lanta, you're so right. I said, you're brilliant. You are so right. It's true. Anyways, ever since that day where he said I was comfortable in the seat, I thought about it and I thought about it and I thought about it and I really thought about it. <laughs> Anyways, he was right. Because today was the first day I was ever on live camera and I definitely was comfortable in my seat. And he was right about that. He was right about a couple of things. He hasn't been right about everything. And that just goes to show while we meet people that impact our lives. And it might be something that only happens for a brief, brief period. In other words, we might meet someone that really impacts our life, but then they're gone. They're just completely gone and they disappear and they're gone. And I think that it's okay because if we learn from the experience and we take that lesson, whatever that lesson is, into the future, we can make something happen for ourselves that's amazing. The problem is when we linger and linger and linger wanting something that isn't there for the continuation, like a stock, of an experience, a relationship, or a job, or whatever, okay? You gotta take what you can from life. Sometimes it's just about that flicker of an experience. And you and, and it's it makes an impact. It makes a huge, huge impact, but it doesn't last. How do you know the difference between something that makes a big impact that lasts and makes a big impact that doesn't last? Well, I'm here to tell you how. It's reciprocation. It's like a hundred percent reciprocation, just like a hundred percent conviction. And that's what it's about. So when you find something that impacts your life, grab it, grab it. If it doesn't last, take it for what's worth. If it lasts, then go with it. Just go to the infinity and beyond because it could be something amazing. It could be the opportunity of a lifetime. But the thing is we live in this world, we live in this life and not everybody is willing and ready to receive opportunities of a lifetime. Some people are in fear. That's a topic for another lecture, which we may or may not do tonight. But I will tell you right now, you have to be outside of fear if you want to actually grab the best that life has to offer. So I will say thank you to everyone that came today. Thank you to the, well, to the video I was camera ready. comfortable in the seat because he was right he was right about that and I definitely am and I can't wait for everything the future has to offer my expectation is that the future will offer me something better than I expect and desire or something even more wonderful that I expect and desire and I wish the same for you I wish the same for you I wish the same for everyone that comes and believes in me and is willing to listen and thank you so much for all the people that have taken my Golden Gap course, that have believed in me, that came to interview with me today, that participated in the very first taping that I ever had, and it's very, very special to me. 
you are all very special people. Every person that has ever believed in me, every person that has ever supported me, every person that has ever taken my Golden Gap class, I want you to know that you are very special to me because things are gonna take off like a rocket. And anyone that has ever found me prior to this date, September 22nd, is a very special person. And don't ever forget it. And when life brings you down, re remember, go back and listen to this video because I'm telling you, if you found me prior to this date, you are a very special person. So thank you and have a great night, everyone.